Hello there and welcome back to GSL English. My name is Gideon and in today's lesson we are going to talk about something really important and that is how and why you should be confident when you speak in English no matter what your level is. So as always, it's my pleasure to welcome you back to our class today. Now, as I said, today we are focusing on something that is really important, and that is speaking English with confidence. Now, believe it or not, this is something that we can do no matter what our level is. Whether we are beginner, whether we are intermediate, or whether we are advanced, it's all in the mind. We need to have that positive, that confident mindset when it comes to anything related to the English language. Now, one of the biggest setbacks or obstacles that we can come across when learning English isn't vocabulary, it's not grammar, it's not sentence structure, it's feeling confident enough to simply talk, feeling confident enough to have a conversation but actually, this is the most important thing when it comes to communication. What do I mean? Well, of course, reading is important, writing is essential, learning vocabulary, grammar, they are all extremely important and we include them in our study routine. But to communicate with others, knowledge is not enough. We have to get talking, we have to get speaking, we have to take that knowledge and put it into practice. And we can't do that if we don't feel confident enough to give it a try. Confidence is essential to communication. I'm not talking about overconfidence where you dominate and talk over everybody else. No, I'm just talking about that natural confidence that allows you to talk to others, to talk to anyone, to use the English that you have worked so hard to study about. So today I'm going to show you exactly why and how you can start speaking English with confidence. But before we get straight into that, I now have the GSL English Club on Patreon, where every day I post something to help you with the English language vocabulary, idioms, shadow reading, audio lessons, and much more. You can now try it for free for seven days. And the link will be in the description or up here if I work out how to do that. But yeah, I just post content to help you learn English every single day. So if you are interested or have any questions, just let me know in the comments. But let's focus on this class for now and let's get into point one about speaking English with confidence. And that is this. Listen carefully. I want you to stop focusing on everyone else. Stop thinking about others. I want you to be selfish. I want you to start thinking about yourself. What do I mean? Well, give me a chance to explain. Let's think about the reasons why we might feel scared in a conversation or why we don't feel confident. Maybe we are worried that someone else won't understand us. Maybe we are worried about what they will think of our level of English. Maybe we are worried that they are going to laugh at us, mock us, correct us. We make a mistake. When we think of the majority of reasons why we feel nervous. It's because of someone else. It's because we are thinking about what someone else is going to think of us. And this really is a problem because as long as we think that way, as long as we think about what others are going to think of our English, that will never change. No matter how advanced we get, no matter how much English we learn, we are always going to have that mindset so we need to change it. We need to focus on ourselves positively. We need to start valuing our own opinion of our English, whether we are beginner, whether we are intermediate, 
or advanced, we want to view opportunities to talk as an opportunity to improve. It's not an opportunity to make a mistake or have someone laugh at us. No, we need to take and seize every opportunity. Start thinking about yourself because every time you get to speak, you get to practice. Every time you get to talk to someone, it's a chance to use that new vocabulary, use that new grammar structure that you've learned. So when we start focusing on what we can gain from having a conversation, then we're much more inclined to have them and have them confidently. Just think of this. If someone came and spoke to you in your native language, but it wasn't perfect, what would you think? They made some mistakes. Their pronunciation wasn't perfect. Maybe they didn't quite use the right sentence structure. What would you think? Well, if you're any level of a decent human, you're just going to think, well done for trying. Who cares? You made a few mistakes. Well done for trying. Why is it different with us? When we talk to others, if we are talking to decent human beings, they're not going to laugh at us. They're not going to look down on us. They are just going to think, well done for trying. And that's the mindset that we want to have. Stop worrying about others. Stop worrying about their opinions and value your own. So that is the first point that I want you to think about to start speaking English with confidence. And that is value your own opinion. Stop worrying about what everyone else thinks and view the chance to speak as a chance to learn, as a chance to improve, as a chance to practice everything that you have spent all of that time studying. So start thinking of yourself and what you can gain from just having those conversations confidently. Point two that I wanted to bring to you about speaking English with confidence is learn to enjoy it. Learn to enjoy speaking English. When it comes to speaking, do you sometimes get that feeling of worry in your stomach? Or maybe you start feeling a bit, a bit anxious or there's a conversation and you've got something to say, but you don't know whether to say it or not. Or maybe you're in a conversation and you know eventually it's your turn to speak. You start worrying, you start panicking. You don't enjoy it at all. If anything, it's just a negative feeling. We just feel scared. You're really not alone in feeling this way. Trust me. We're only human. Those feelings of nerves and panic are natural. Even if we're talking to friends and family that we know well, we still get nervous from time to time. But we want to train that immediate negative feeling to be more of a positive one. So rather than having that feeling of anxiousness, skip being scared or worry when it's our turn to speak, immediately get rid of those emotions and replace it with a positive one. It's an opportunity to speak and I'm going to do my best. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is easier said than done. It takes training. We have to train ourselves to learn to enjoy speaking English. So over the next weeks, months or even the year, I want you to train your mind to think more positively towards speaking in English. So every time or even before you're going to speak or it's your turn to speak in a conversation, if you have that negative emotion, that negative feeling, that worry, that panic, just say to yourself, no, and replace it with a positive one. At first, this might not work. But the more you do this, the more you say no to that anxiety, that worry, you'll realize that eventually that positive feeling will be the first feeling we have. So then we start to speak or it's just before we start to speak and we're excited to talk. We're excited to express our opinions or feelings in a conversation and then we start enjoying it. So that is the second point, you know, learn, train yourself to enjoy it. Get rid of those immediate negative feelings. We don't want that. You know, we want speaking and learning English to be a positive thing. So that is the next step that I want you to try. Learn to enjoy it. Point three, and you're going to think this is crazy, 
but I want you to speak to yourself. That's right. I want you to speak to yourself. Not in a crazy way, which I promise I don't do that often. But I want you to talk to yourself out loud as much as possible. Why? Because we need to get used to speaking in English. But not just used to using vocabulary, idioms and phrasal verbs. We need to get our mouth and our muscles and all of that used to moving in the way that they need to, to speak English. One of the easiest ways that we can do this is simply by talking to ourselves. As an illustration, I want you to think about this. Let's imagine that in six months, we are going to run a five mile race together. Now you might be a good runner. So let's just imagine that like me, we don't go running. We're gonna run a five mile race together in six months time. Would we just wait until the date of that run and then give it a go? No, if we did that, we'd probably get injured and we're not going to make it to the end of that race. Or if we do, we're going to be dead at the end. The sensible thing to do would be to train. Get yourself ready for that run. Get your body used to moving and build your fitness. It's the same when it comes to speaking. Okay, we don't know the definite dates and times we're going to have conversations. But what we can do is start training. Training our minds, our mouths to speak in English. And the best way we can do that is on our own time, at home, or whatever it is, by speaking to ourselves. So what do we talk to ourselves about? Well, let me give you some suggestions. Firstly, is just read out loud. Absolutely anything. Grab an article, a book, look up some literature on the internet. Whatever it is, just read it out loud. That's it. If all else fails, grab something, read it out loud. Okay, you're not expressing your thoughts and opinions, but your mouth is getting used to speaking in... in, in pff, I struggled there. Your mouth is getting used to speaking in English. And that's what we want. Another great exercise is repetition and shadow reading, which if you haven't done so already, it'll be here or somewhere on the screen. You can watch my shadow reading videos where we repeat and then just talk at the same time, or you can watch my conversation videos, use those. Have a chat with me every day on the internet. Just get speaking out loud. Or look in the mirror and answer a question. Maybe just set yourself a question about your thoughts on artificial intelligence and just talk about it. Don't worry about anyone hearing you. Just talk. Feels weird at first, but it does help. But you get the idea. What we want to do is train ourselves to speak. So we need to speak every day because as we do this, our muscles get used to it and we just feel more confident. So when it comes to that conversation that we're going to have, when it comes to communication, we've trained for it. We're ready to go and we feel more confident. So speak to yourself. Okay, and the last point that I wanted to bring out is learn to be okay with mistakes. Learn to be okay with mistakes. What I mean by this is, okay, we don't encourage mistakes, but mistakes are going to happen. You need to be okay with that. If we're not okay with it, we have this fear of making mistakes and we go all the way back to the beginning of having no confidence. Be okay with making mistakes. I am. I've made mistakes in this video, but I'm speaking naturally speaking from the heart. That's what happens. We make mistakes. We don't need to be scared of them. I can promise you that when you have a conversation, there is no level of English you will reach where you do not make a mistake, whether it's pronunciation, whether it's grammar, whether it's using the wrong word, you will make mistakes. Be okay with that and don't worry about them. When we fear mistakes, our confidence goes right down. Just embrace them. Just accept them. It's part of speaking any language. I tried learning Spanish and I made so many mistakes. I found the best thing to do was just laugh at them. <laughs> just laugh at your mistakes. Maybe go home, you learn from them, you write it down, you see how you can improve. But just be okay with mistakes. It's going to happen. So there you go. 
Speak English with confidence. You have every reason to be confident. You've done something amazing. No matter what level you are, you have tried to teach your brain to learn a new way of communication. That is an incredible thing. But it's also a very big task. Value your own opinion. Value your own efforts. What you're doing is incredible. Don't let a lack of confidence hold you back. So I hope you enjoyed that video today. Let me know in the comments if any of these points did help you, if you're going to put any into practice, or is there anything else that you recommend that has helped you to speak English with confidence? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you can give this video a like, it really does help me out. But have an amazing day, guys. Speak English with confidence, and I'll see you all soon. Have a good one.